Hey guys, still here, and welcome to a new Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts video. Um, it's a, a bit of a special one in the sense that it is semi-tournament. Here's how. Lots of people sent in their designs, um, and many of you went, Ah, oh, shit, mine didn't get picked. Come on. But you still want to get your ship seen. And I got a lot of requests for that, so here's the first video of uh, being able to do a donation in order to get your ship out there. In case you're interested, link down below in the description. It's a Patreon link. Um, you can join for 50 bucks once off. So just uh, subscribe and cancel it right away. And that way you'll be able to get your video. I need to know which design is yours, uh, what your username is, and then I can um, fight, well, any of the 10 tournament ships. You won't be able to get the prize. Uh, you won't be able to get points in the tournament. But if you want to still get your tournament ship reviewed by me, which is something I'm going to be doing for the Lancia right now, um, and or fight a battle, you can. The link down below in the description. Speaking of battleships slash battlecruisers, we have uh, Dethan TW who sent in the Lancia. The Lancia, uh, very sizable Italian battlecruiser. The Impero, by contrast, is only 36,000 tons, so she's remarkably smaller. The ship has um, some interesting choices, most notably the turrets. When it comes to the turret, she has the quadruple 14.957 with a reload of 60 seconds and then another couple of 14.9s with 45 second reload. So, interestingly, these things, while having double the barrels, only have slightly more reload time. You're going from 45 seconds to 61, which is really not that much at all. They got a pretty decent muzzle velocity thanks to that uh, combination of propellant as well as long barrels. Should make them more accurate. According to the stats here, they're going to start out at about 20,000 meter range with a 4.8 to 7.7% accuracy. That's quite a lot. Veterancy, 100% on the crew, which is also going to help. Um, propulsion, not particularly special. I mean, you got the gas turbines. It does make the ship rather expensive. Plus 30,000 engine cost per weight. Um, but okay, this is one way to make this ship go 30 knots. When it comes to the armor slash protection, this ship is going to have a very interesting life. They have no barbettes. <laughs> no barbette armor. Um, i not sure if he missed this or if this is an actual design choice. Because with no barbettes, I immediately scrolled to flash fire chance and 42%. We're going to have serious issues with turrets just going, we <laughs> flying off the ship. Um, this thing better not get hit too hard. When it comes to the pretty protection, anti-torp one, double hull bottom, anti-flood only one. Um, okay. Citadel only three. And reinforced bulkheads one. He's definitely living an adventurous lifestyle, this uh, Italian battlecruiser. And I'm wondering if it's going to work. Because you don't have a lot of protection. And if you do get hit, which you will, you're going to go pop. And your turret's going to go and uh, join SpaceX. Now, when it comes to um, equipment, you got pretty much the best of the best. TNT4, we're using Cordite 3 on this one. Auto loaders and electrohydraulic turrets. Generation 3 radar, RDF, Hydro 1 to get some torpedo warning. Armor scheme, pretty good. 17-inch um, main belt, 9-inch fore aft main deck, 5-5 uh, five and five on the fore and aft, 14-inch in the conning tower, 9-inch in the superstructure. Now, keep in mind, um, you do get some turret armor when you're using just your standard turret. So your barbettes do get some armor, but it's not a lot. 10-inch, uh, very quickly penned. So <laughs> it's going to be a very interesting match. Um, they're going to be fighting the British, so that is the um, the fire starting battle cruiser, and I'm interested to see whether the Italians can get it done. I am very curious. Can the Lancia take on this ship? Let's have a go. The Lancia's 14.9 inch guns. Um, that's definitely a different stat. We're gonna get uh, still 11.8 inch. They're using capped ballistic too. Whoa, <laughs> that's a serious, serious shell. Everybody opening up. Counter fire from the British. The British, for now, are going to not really have those 7 inchers yet. The 5 inchers, remarkably, are in range. 
That's interesting. When did the seven inches? Oh, sorry, the seven inches are in range at 20 kilometers. The Italians get the first hit. And the British are retaliating against the Lancia, getting some damage in. So far, nothing too critical. It's an interesting design with the quadruple turrets and then the dual barrels. So you're getting quite a lot of firepower. It looks interesting. Um, why exactly he decided upon this design instead of like, four triples? I'm not exactly sure. I do quite like the look of the ship. Personally, I would probably put the funnels in there and make sure that the funnels are thus uh, slightly better protected. As well as you have more deck space, you can make the ship smaller, thus saving weight and making sure that you can get some more armor on. But hold on, they're already doing damage here. The British are starting to flood. They're burning, if only a little bit. Ooh, close call. The Italians have 27% chance to hit and 35 with the dual barrel. That is really dangerous for the British. They might be able to make this work. I'd love it if the British <laughs> get taken down a peg. Because that flyer, the, the, the extensive fire is just... Yeah, well, not great. Oh, the Italian shells are too good. They're getting a lot of overpens. Yeah, that's going to cost you some, uh, some potential damage. There we go, another overpen. The shells are too powerful. They're flying in one side and out the other. Because at 20,000 meter range, they can pen 34 inches of armor. Uh, we're currently doing about 41 inches of armor. <laughs> That's a lot of pen. Lancia now taking... Ooh! Taking a bunch of fire there. That was a damaging hit right through the four belt. The four belt is pretty heavy at 9 inch. But it can still get penned. And the superstructure is also taking a beating. More overpens on the Brits. I wonder when the Lancia is going to start falling back. For now, not just yet. 16.9. 16, 16.8. 48.56% chance to hit. 67 for the Lepanto. What the hell? 78 now. These things are ridiculously accurate at this range. Mark 4, 14.9. Here comes the Salvo. So that's bound to hit them. More partials. 14.9s. The Italians are getting either overpens or underpens. Like, you get partial pens, or you just flat out pen the ship and go far too fast. And I'm getting a little worried about the state of the Lancia, because she is burning up. Fast. The ship's lost 14% of her crew, which is something she can more or less handle. She has standard crew quarters, and you can see that the control is already going down. This is the moment that Lancia picks to start turning into the enemy in order to fall back. That's a questionable choice at best. Well, at least the damage is pretty even. My main concern is that the, the British get so deadly the closer that they get. They do so much damage with those secondaries. They set so many fires. Lancia does appear to get the fires under control. For now. British warship also falling back. Destroyed the main tower on the Lancia. 9 inch superstructure just was not enough. Which is ridiculous, because they got so much superstructure armor. I've seen plenty of turn-on ships would have less than half. But maybe that's the problem. Maybe if you have this much superstructure armor, the superstructure gets um, not overpinned or underpinned, but you just get a full pen, so you get more damage on that superstructure. 8.4k damage done. Oh, this British warship's not too happy about the state of affairs. One of the empresses struggling to keep alive.
Aurora's building her accuracy, I guess. Because I'm suddenly only seeing 7% chance to hit. <clears throat> That's far less than what it was. Far less. Lepanto also looking at 7.9%. Oh boy. Lancia is getting toasty again. But, to their credit, no flash fires yet. Hold on, did you guys switch fire? Your tur yeah, you switched fire. No, you didn't. Sorry, you're still trying to focus on the wounded British ship. Which might work. Oh, three more fires. Control down to 89%. 18% of the crew has been gone. 8% accuracy. Oh, right. The ship is maneuvering. Is turning, is slowing down, is speeding up, but she's changing her position and formation. That's what's causing all the accuracy issues. Had they switched to any of the other ships, they probably would have been better off. Parcel pen. Uh-oh. 21% crew lost. Some secondaries are looking pretty bad. The ship's taken on a lot of water. I think the, the Lancia is going to snowball out of control. I don't see her coming out of this one. 0% accuracy. 23. 37. That's more like it. Come on. You guys need to hang in a little longer. At least make sure that you get even. Take out one of the British ships. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the Empress herself. Because for some reason the ships always seem to go down in an order of... Uh, let's say the namesake of the ship first. The Lancia gets hit first. Um... Previously, I've seen other ships of the same, well, of this, not the same class, but like the, the name giver of the class gets targeted first. Damage the main guns. I'm kind of waiting for one of these guns to abandon ship. These turrets have been badly hit. The damage control is awful. You're looking at a ton of fires, and armor has been severely weakened. Oh, and the ships are now targeting something else. Aurora and Lepanto targeting the next ship in line. The next British leader. Please tell me you're not going to let this half-flooded British battleship get away. Because that would be a really bad play. That would be pretty awful. 86%, now we're talking. 10 kilometers out. So they can pen 60 inches of armor. How about their damage? They're going to be taking a lot of damage on turrets, superstructure, funnels, everything. Uh, but bow, stern, mid belt, it's going to be very difficult to pen. Parcel pen only. Really? Pen. There you go. Rudder damaged. Fires. Pens. More fires. The British are starting to take it. Oh, here we go. Second turret. The B turret on the Lancia has been destroyed. That's the dual barrel one. I'm not sure if dual barrels respond less violently than quadruples. If getting hit. But that 40% chance to flash fire just does not sit well with me. Oh, uh, and they're letting it live. <sighs> credit where credit is due though. The Italians are giving out a lot of damage. More flooding. Aurora now taking some damage. Somehow, despite everything, the Lancia is still here. And still fighting with remarkably good accuracy. Firing her guns at the wounded British battlecruiser. Or well, whatever gun she has left, that is. More damage. More flooding. The Empress class is getting hit hard here. 86%. I'm going to see how well these things are doing. Oh, is the Lepanto now taking fire? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Why are you switching to the Lepanto? 
Ru flooding, more rudder damage. Flooding pretty quick at that. Look at that bar drop. I think the Lancias might be able to take it. They might be able to get the win. That'd be phenomenal, because the British Empress class so far have done very, very well. Lancia, 40% lost crew. Ooh. Yeah, more flooding. Flooding on the Lepanto as well. The ship is seemingly perfectly okay otherwise. It's a bit of flooding, it's a bit of fire, but she'll keep fighting for a long time. The Devastation. Ah yes, the irony is not lost. You didn't specify whose Devastation. Because it looks to be yours. What are you targeting? You're targeting the Devastation. Well, I think they might be able to pull it off here. Especially considering that the British have lost all DPS on the Devastation. Um, the Indomitable is perfectly full health. Ooh, that hurt. 2500 damage on Lepanto. The ship is starting to angle a lot. Oh, but the, the Italian shells don't care about that. Not with that angle. <laughs> yeah, okay. 4% uh, buoyancy. 3, 4. The British are giving it all she's got. But 2%. 1.7. No, she's gone. Gone. Devastation devastated by the combined efforts of the Italian ships. Lancia is still around. Oh, 3,700 damage. That hurt. Indomitable just puncturing... What was that? What did they pen, actually? Four belt, main belt. Yeah. But now, the Empress... She can still more or less fight with her primaries. Her secondaries, which are arguably more dangerous than the rest of the ship. They're out. They can't fire anymore. So it's going to be down to Indomitable to uh, do as much damage against, well, I'd say Lancia first. Take her out of the fight. And it seems like that's what the secondaries are trying to do. 43% crew lost means that Lancia might surrender. If the Italians want to keep the Lancia in the fight, they're going to have to work really hard and make sure that this ship takes a lot of flooding, keels over, and then they'll be unable to kill off the Lancia. But now 43.8. Indomitable's turning in. 50% chance to pen, but it's a really high ricochet angle. Lepanto has taken a lot of flooding. I think this is when we see anti-flood 1. Not really being sufficient here. Indomitable turning. Look at our ricochet on goal. 84%. That's not going to work out very well. Yeah, most of it ricocheted. One secondary gun got destroyed. Lancia. 44-7. Might be better for the ship to surrender. At least she won't sink. I mean, you know, the game will consider it sunk, but practically the ship will still be there. Lepanto now trying to fall in behind the Lancia. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Lancia, 45% crew lost. Any minute now. Indomitable, 47% structural. Not flooding yet, but they have lost a turret. One of their 15 inches. Yeah, one of their 15 inches is down. The A turret looks badly, badly damaged. And that's 30% of the DPS of the British main guns gone. And she's... Are you trying to fall in behind the Empress? Because the Empress is so healthy. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there goes the Lancia. After all this time. So now Lepanto is trying to fall in behind the Aurora. Aurora with monster level accuracy at 90%. And the Indomitable 
is flooding on three, if not four, five compartments. These ships have many bulkheads. Anti-flood three. No, two. Anti-flood two, not even three. Okay. She's listing. Still able to use her seven inches. There's another volley. Bonk. Partial pens only. She has a lot of armor, but 5 inch armor belt and 16 inch armor belt really should be able to get pinned. Because these guns, at what? 5? 7 kilometer range. Let's round that up to 7.5. They do 66 inches of armor pin. No way they're going to be able to stop that. I mean, sure, the ship is angled, but even then, 5 inch doesn't instantly become 60 inch. That seems like a bit of a stretch. Oh, we got a flash fire. The Aurora. Goodbye, quadruple turret. And a second one. Aurora. Going off like a volcano. Very Italian of that. And she's lost all her ammo. She only has a couple of shells left. A little bit of HE. And after that, she's down to HE. Oh, boy. That's an awful turn of events for the Italians. Because that means that their most healthy ship is now gone. Lepanto, still fighting though. Lepanto should be able to take the win by herself, but good lord, that was destructive for the Aurora. I wonder if the Indomitable is going to succumb to her own flooding right now. 4%, I think she'll not be able to stop that. And spill over. And once it does... Goodbye, ship. 2%. If the Italians are to survive, though, they better not get a flash, uh, flash fire on the Panto. 0.9. The flooding has been fixed. <laughs> I guess the British crews were now properly, properly motivated. But anybody makes... As much as a tiny hole in this ship like that and she's gone yep so that leaves the badly damaged Empress class and she can only wait for the inevitable she's so badly listing she's so badly damaged she cannot fire any of her guns so it's down to the Italians especially the Lepanto to just finish her off because Aurora can't do it she's <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is ironic. She still has some shells, but they're all on the stern turrets, and the ship is angling in. Um, I don't know, maybe the AI doesn't recognize the fact that it has shells, uh, but no turrets. I mean, the whole front of the Italian ship is just one big black... Well, I wouldn't say a black hole, because there's still some ship there, but... That's a lot of damage. There's also some artifact floating up there. What is that? No, wait. Are those... The <laughs> Are those the lifeboats? Because <laughs> this was the, the dual barrel, right? Because you got four rafts sitting atop that. No. It's those little platforms. You see them right there. Middle of the screen now. It's the where the, the the other gunners would sit, I guess, if you put a two inch or a three inch gun on top there. So somehow that <laughs> that part survived. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh man, this was a good fight. Finally, no he spam that leads to inevitable death for one of these ships. I didn't actually expect the Lancers to be able to pull it off and survive. Because considering that flash fire chance, I thought, oh, they're going to cook off real quick. But I got surprised. And the Alancias did it. Yep, they did it. Empress is down. Indomitable is down. And um, what was the other one? The Devastation is down. Damn. Well done to the Lancias. I like it. So, uh, Deeth and TW, congratulations. Your ship survived. Mostly. Um, and you brought great honor to the Italian Empire. 
Now, if you guys want to have your ship featured as well, again, you can. Uh, it's 50 bucks. It is a donation that really helps out the channel, and you're getting a video with your own ship in it. So if you want to, uh, link down below in the description, get the Patreon, and it's called Tournament Special. That way, you can get your own ship featured. All I need to know is uh, your name, what ship design is yours, and potentially what nation you want to fight. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was a great fight, um, and I'm glad to see the Empress class getting taken down a peg. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for more.